has that sherbet. <laughs> Mango sherbet. Mango. Is it nice? Oh. It's a nice mango. I had a birthday this month, and we've been wanting to visit the northern Idaho panhandle. So we took the weekend off to explore a new place and have some much needed time together, away from building. As much as we enjoy having so many projects on the go, too much work without balance doesn't do us any good. We visited Bonner's Ferry and dipped our feet into Lake Pandare in Sandpoint. For the short amount of time we were there, Idaho's charm hooked us, and we'll definitely be back someday. We've got the use of a front loader today, so we're going to be moving all of this gravel out here inside. So the plan is to bring this up about two inches. Basically, there's a mound in the middle, and then the edges are low, low spots. So we're going to get everything level compact it and then start building the floor in here. We've been at this for about four or five hours now, and we're getting there. We're pretty much covered this section, but this kind of work is, this is hard and tiring. So we're taking a break, snack break, but it's getting there. It's a heck of a lot better than what it was. Looking forward to getting the floor in. I am tired now.
Where's our snack? Where's the snack? Huh? Where's the snacks? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Today we're working on putting our sliding door in. Let's see lights on. Okay. You'd swear those cats were starving and abused the way they go on. They're complaining because they didn't get what they wanted from you. Ready to cut? There goes nothing. I like cutting holes in the barn. Yeah, I spent the whole life folding it close. Now I'm making the whole opening. Cut through. Cut through everything. Well, we cut that anyway. Well, it doesn't matter. That's going to be cut off in a bit anyway. Are you trying to level it? Just trying to square it off and get the barn running straight. Have some water. Then we're going to bring the door. We'll move the door to one side, and then we'll bring that out. And the pudding is in the proof. Clip it on its side, so you clip it like this. 
put the bottom. Okay, whenever you're ready. Like to do. Yeah, do you like about it? It's old, sir. Oh, it's old. Uh, A bunch of stuff there tomorrow. I've got some flashing I'll put around it. Yeah, get some polyurethane and some tape, and you can just do it. This old door needs a lot of love. It's weathered and showing its age, but it'll be restored and have a new look and life. These original cottage pane doors are hard to come by. In next week's video, I get to work on restoring it and explain why we're using this door instead of our other one. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a fantastic week ahead. We'll see you again soon.